Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I have a really fun project to share with you today. We'll get to that in just a minute, but I want to say hi and hugs to all of you. And I will expand on why I'm feeling so grateful this morning. Um, as we go along, as we're crafting, I'll tell you the story, but I am just so grateful with all the hundreds, I don't know, thousands, millions of channels there are to watch on YouTube that you take your time to be with me every day. I am beyond grateful. So thank you all for being here. Hi and hugs to each and every one of you. Then we're going to get to this, which is so fun. So um, one of my subscribers, her name is Angela. She has a YouTube channel. It's um, it's Angela's Crafty Space. What did I do? I wrote it down somewhere, and then I don't know what I, where I put it. But it's Angela's Crafty Space. I will link her channel below. I'll also link the video where she created this fun little um, sort of multi-pocket belly band. And we're going to do some mass making of this. And um, as usual... You know, she got my brain a cooking. And so I have a couple of things I want to try to see how they work with um, with this idea and tweaking it a bit. A couple of those. So let me show you her, her initial idea. So she used two pieces of six by six paper. And, um, and so what we have is a belly band on the page, right? We've got a pocket back here that I have tucked in a little um, index card. Then you've got a pocket here and you've got a pocket here for two little tags. So um, I made this one because I'm going to start on a poppy journal one of these days. Well, it'll probably be at one of my retreats. But anyway, this is the idea. And I think it's just it's super simple and it's super pretty look at how that just fills up that page i love that okay so we'll make um let's make the base you know make one um to show you and then i'll show you the variations okay does that sound good okay so let's see uh the kind of nice thing is you can use single-sided paper for this so i'm going to use this park lane pad don't even know where I got it. I Oh, I think I got it at Joann's because aren't they the ones that have the park lane? Well, I love this. And there is a purple with it, I think. There's in here. Yep. So this is, I would call it fairly lightweight. I don't know how this would work with real thick paper, but it works, I think, I think best with a little bit thinner cardstock. So let's make one out of these two. Uh, as I did here, I'm going to put the um, solid one in the back. I don't know, just kind of prefer that. So this first six by six, I'm gonna cut it down to four and three quarters. I like the way that fits on this page. It doesn't crowd the spine too much. So four and three quarters. We're just going to give that a little chop right there. And then I'm going to fold this up. And this will be our back, our back bit. You can score if you want to. I'm kind of not taking the time to do that, which is okay too. Okay, so there's our back, right? Well, then um, this one I'm going to cut. And I kind of liked as much as i liked the four and three quarters i kind of liked two and two and a half on this i just kind of like how it balanced the page so let's cut this two and a half okay two and a half all right and then we are just gonna fold this one up like so Give it a give it a squish with the bone folder so that's going to be our pocket right so i'm going to give this a little thumb hole 
Um, and then because I ink, I'm going to ink. So you only have to ink the front of this one. And the front of this one. Okay. So now I'm inked. Now I am going to glue. So the back base, we're going to glue here, and glue here on two sides. And then what I was doing was just picking them up and really squishing them between my fingers instead of worrying about using my card. I was just squishing. <laughs> okay, and then same thing here, the two sides. Okay, and squish. And then this little pocket, we are gonna do on three sides. If you put it on this side, here, here, here. Put it on this side, here, here, here. So you have that tie, this, this side tuck or pocket. Okay, I usually, I, I like to decorate this side of the page. So I think I'm gonna put mine over here. So we're just gonna, I'm, it's, it was funny watching Angela's, um, video. We are the exact opposite. I always put my thumb where I'm not going to glue so that I know it's the other three sides. She does it the other way. <laughs> so, so now you can slide this all the way over to the edge on this one. You can see I left a little edge and I kind of like seeing a little bit of the the paper on that edge so I'm, that's what I'm going to do there okay and that's it how easy is that right brilliant Angela good job friend yeah so Angela's a sweetheart she's been a viewer for a long long time and she's also one of one of my patrons and so I so appreciate that too. I'm going to put these on coffee dyed paper like right now. And then I will store them with my finished pages and I can just pick from them for journals. So then, I, and also I can show you. <laughs> and so then easy enough, you just put your glue here and here on those two sides and pop it on there. Now, of course, you could use you could move that down and use it as a pocket as well. But I really like the I have plenty of pocket ideas, not as many belly band ideas. So I really love this uh, as a belly band idea. OK, so then what is left? You can make a big tag for your um, what is left of the pocket six by six. You can just make a tag to go in the back. Now this one, I had lots of leftovers. We'll make one of those, maybe we'll make one of those next and you'll see why I had so many, so many other papers to work with, um, or more papers than the six by six. But I love this because it's, again, one-sided paper. It's a way to use your one-sided paper. And I always love ideas for, um, you know, for, for six by six pads. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. We'll figure out something for the other pockets later on, but there's, there's another one done just that quick. Okay, so this one I used, let me grab it. I used this pad, which is a six by eight pad. Then I had, I had a, something for the back. I, I had a spot for, um, I mean, I had enough paper left over for a couple more tags. So let's make another one of those. Oh, look at this. This would be fun for a spring journal. As would, as would that as the background. Oh my gosh, all these would be, what is this paper pad? Botanical journal collection, Bow Bunny. Yeah, it's like, it was in my in my paper pads and I I don't know I think I'm gonna use that but 
I, I love it. Look at that. Oh, well, be making a few of those. <laughs> Oops, got to get my other piece of paper. I got all I got all excited about this paper pad I had discovered in my stash. Oh, goodness. Okay. So now with this one, um, for the back pocket, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to cut this at, at six, right? Yep. So that it's the six by six sort of size. And then I'm going to cut this at four and three quarters. Okay. And then this, this edge that's six, we're going to just fold up to make our belly band. There we go. Okay. Now this one, um, let's see. How did I do that? Uh, did I do, did I cut it at six? Yeah, I guess I did. Okay. So six. Oh yeah. Six by two and three quarters. Is that right? No, two and a half, sorry. Four and three quarters for this one, two and a half for the little pocket. Ew, which side do I want though? I think I want this side. So I'm gonna turn it around and do my two and, two and a half here, two and a half. Okay, and you can see that leaves that for the big, for the big pocket. But now on this, I've got all these scraps because it was an eight by six instead of a, um, instead of six by six. So if you want some extras for the decorating, that's what I found with the eight by six. Okay. Again, we're just gonna, gonna give it its little ink and then we're gonna glue it. I won't take time to put these all on papers right now we'll get on to the next idea and the next idea <laughs> oh yep Angela you got my brain a cooking on this one this is fun okay so then on the base we're just going to do each edge Okay, there's the base. And then each edge of this pocket. Whoops. <laughs> Not very straight, am I? Okay. Like so. All right. And then I'm going to do the three sides. leaving a little edge because just because I like it don't have to do that if you don't want to okay there's another one ready to go on the page so eight by six is really fun because then you've got oh we better do let's finish this off the eight by six or at least finish my thoughts on it so I'm going to cut that and this is going to be the tag behind right so that will be the tag behind then I am gonna take this little leftover get the edge off of it and it's six inches wide from our cut so I'm gonna cut it at three that leaves us a couple little tags and um, we can put one in there like that, okay? And then same here, we'll just cut this off. And I'm just gonna cut it at three also. So really you've got four little tags you can, you can choose from here. And um, 
So I'll make this a tag for in here. You know, once I <laughs> once I put once I'm able to get in there. Yeah, put a tag uh, or a yeah, a tag in there. And a tag in here. Like so. And then I I put an index card in the big pocket. You can put whatever. You could grab some more of your paper and use that. Now these we have left, so you know we could we could go ahead and put like three tags in here or something if we wanted. So that's the eight by six. That's the eight by six idea. So I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, then I thought I would like one of these for my um, vintage tablecloth that uh, I'm gonna that I'm gonna make here coming up, and so I did a couple of um, I printed out on like a heavier matte photo paper. I it. I forget how many pounds this 44 pound or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. So, um, let's, let's go ahead and cut this down to six by six just to start or actually, actually not. We'll just, I'm just going to use, I think this corner. So, um, so let's actually, let's cut this at four and three quarters. We don't need it to be six by six. So let's cut it at four and three quarters like that. Then let's cut it at six like that. And that is going to be, do I want it this? I think I do. Um, I'll put that that way, like so, right? So there's our base. And then, actually, on a digital, you could, you don't need the whole piece. But I kind of wanted for the pocket, let's see, will that, no. Maybe we'll use this. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. Okay, so then again, it's going to be two and a half once we get the, the white stuff off of here. So yeah, I kind of wanted to experiment a bit. And this this uh, heavier, you know, it's like a... It's like a... Um, Thin cardstock, basically. Okay, two and a half for our pot. Okay, and then um, I'm just going to cut that off just so it's off. And then, again, six. Right there. That leaves us that. <laughs> Little flower. Okay. Um yeah, so then I'm gonna I think I'll fold it this way. I mean you have lots of lots of choices as to what and look how cute that's gonna be. Yay! I didn't get it straight, but it's because I'm excited. <laughs> or maybe I didn't get it straight on the cutter. That that could definitely be. Let's just trim that. Yeah, so, um, so this works. Print in your digitals on a every piece of cardstock, and then I have an idea for um, thinner. Um, if we have a piece with thinner. Okay. Oh, I love this. Okay. I just love these old tablecloths. What can I say? So this is a digital in my Etsy shop cinnamon tea, if you're interested. And I'm going to be, um, you may have seen the, uh, 
the uh, video of me making a cover. I, this is going to be my next kind of on-camera video, I think. Or, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do start to finish on it because it's just way too much fun. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we feel. I've, I've had so many people say they really appreciate the start to finish series. So, maybe we'll do that. Of course, it won't be all in a row because I have other stuff I have to do like Mixed Media Monday and Forgotten Friends Friday and <laughs> and my Marguerite Miller challenge and and stuff so that's okay too okay so again I'm gonna leave a little bit because then that little red flower there will show oh my gosh but how stinking cute is that it's just it's just the print that makes it makes it so much fun. Let's see, this looks like it could. It makes a real thin pocket too, which is really cool. And I'm not sure how my next idea is going to work in terms of thinness. So there's the belly band. Um, I can use my bits and and make tags. I mean, I could put that that in there as a tag. Ooh, that's really cute. Um, or whatever. This one will make a cute tag. So anyway, I won't take time making tags. But that was another idea to print on a like a light card stock or matte photo paper. Okay, so then my other idea is I wanted to make one with my Gail's Grunge Digital that is from Austin at Crafty Boo Bro. And it's it's on it's on thin papers. This is 26 pound paper. Um, so I was like, okay, so how's that gonna work? I, I, I want it to be a little sturdier for a pocket. So what I thought was, what if I used one of my envelopes from where I used to work and just use it as a base and cover it? So we're gonna give that a try. Let's give that a try. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just, my my little brain got a cooking from Angela's video. So, um, whilst we're, whilst we're um, working with this one, and you, I don't need to talk about it, you can just see what I'm doing, really. But this was an envelope from my old work. Now, I have been, um, I'm in a, excuse me, Four, I'm going to make this about like four inches and four and three quarter again ish. About right there. Okay. So, yeah, I thought the shape would work. So, anyway, last night I went to the going away party for my friend that took my place when I retired. And I've been retired six years. So she's been doing my old job for six years. Well, she got a new job, which is a fabulous job. It's going to be so great for her. I'm super excited for her. And so anyway, um, she, uh, we had the going away party, which a lot a lot a lot of people that I worked with are now gone you know because I've been gone gone for six years you know people come and go but some of my old office friends were there that I haven't seen for well some of them since I retired you know and the you know what also affected that because you know but um yeah so it's, um, it was just so fun. Well, they're asking me, so, so what are you doing in your retirement? What are you, what are you up to? I said, oh, well, you won't believe it. <laughs> I'm, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> I, I make my journals on YouTube and they're like, what? <laughs> especially my my friend Jeff who was he, he's he's 
very ITE and he's in the public relations there and he was like he was like seriously <laughs> yeah so anyway um so I don't know yesterday when I was driving home I just thought I'm so grateful that I that I'm doing this, that I'm able to do this, that you guys actually watch me. <laughs> I just was like, oh, it's just such a blessing. I don't know. It just kind of made me reflect, you know. Okay, so how tall is this thing? It is just over four. Okay. So I'm going to cut this just over four. Just um, Actually, I might do it like four and three quarters. And I'll show you why I'm going to do that. It doesn't have anything to do with the other measurement that we've been talking about. But I think I want to be able to fold it over into the envelope to kind of finish that edge a little bit. Because as you see, this envelope is like the folded the folded six by six paper, but I'm just gonna cover it with a digital, okay? That's that's my thoughts. So, let's see. I'll just cut it right about there. And, so, anyway, all that to say, that's what kind of just got me reflecting on how, how much I love what I do and how much I mean, it's because of, it's because of you all that I get to do it. So I think I'll just fold that a little right now before gluing it. And um, I'm just going to fold that over the edge of the envelope. Like, like a suit. Yep, that's going to work. Yes. <clears throat> So I'm going to put this in my Gail's Grunge, obviously. Um, yeah, so gosh, it was fun. And I, you know, honestly, I have not been out in the co community hardly at all because of the you know what. And so gosh, to see all those people and just hang out. Well, then um, I look over and it, there was a couple of parties in this. It was at a, it was at a local restaurant brewery. And um, yes, see how that's going to work. And I want this corner here. So anyway, there was another party and some friends from way back that um, they were actually, my my middle daughter, Joni, they were her best friend growing up. Um, that Her parents. Okay, I'm gonna go a half inch past where the end of this pocket is because I wanna fold that over too, just to make neat edges and same here, okay? So that's that's how I'm marking that one. Um, they were really Joni's second set of parents. They, you know, we had we had the four kids, and so sometimes we'd have the big kids' sports. And um, but Joni had a tournament somewhere. Well, her um, her friend Megan, their daughter, uh, you know, they played together. Uh, uh, basketball and volleyball and so um, so they would take Joni with them and so that we could watch the older kids and you know they really it was like they were just so helpful that's so um, and <laughs> funny enough Megan and her husband, they bought the house that's just across the street from where where we lived when she and Joni were besties. 
<laughs> so she lives right across the street with her family. It's so funny. I don't know. Life is weird that way, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to cut these so that they'll, it'll fold around, right? Like, like, show. Well, maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to have to put something down that edge because I cut it too short, but that's okay. That's all right. It'll be fine. So, so yeah, it was a big, it was big night for this kid just being out and about. And I told Mike, I said I was exhausted from being so social. <laughs> Can you imagine what I'm going to be like after my retreat with 11 of my pals? <laughs> That's going to be crazy. Okay, so I'm just going to go like that and like that and then kind of smooth this down okay i didn't do a great job of this but nothing a little washi tape won't fix i don't think so then i'm gonna put that right there just a little notch there and let's see what what washi would go any washi would go this one would be great little little tim holtz washi Ooh, and then she sees this look at this uh linen tape okay sort of on a roll this is tim holtz this is his new linen tape and got to figure out how it works got to get that off of there what I need to do. Ugh. Obviously haven't used the roll yet. Okay. So I'm going to go down the edge with that. That'd be cool. And we can cut it to fit once it's on there. It's very sticky, Ugh. which is good. Um, so go down that edge like that fold it over get rid of this and I feel like I can when I distress it I can fix that little bottom that's kind of showing there And it is Gail's grunge, so if it's extra grungy, all the better. Okay, and then this side. So anyway, all this to say that there is a way to use your thin digitals too. Or if you had super thin, um, if you want to do book page or something like that, this is a thought of how to... How to do the same thing, but um, but with thin paper. Okay, so what am I going to do here? I'm just going to do, uh, let's see, these. Oh, okay. So I am going to put, okay. I've come up against a snag. You guys probably saw it a long time ago. So, to make this a pocket and this a pocket, what am I going to do? She says, I know what I'm going to do. So, I am going to put glue along this side, along here. And then up in this corner, I'm just going to put a dot of glue, right? Then, I'm going to stick it down. Okay, now I can, let me find, here's a little piece I can use. Now I can go in here, but I can also go in here. 
<laughs> and we've still got our big pocket in the back and we've got our belly band. So, um, let me, grab, let me grab the journal for a second. So, on a page, if we can find a, a blank page, this will go on like that. It's bigger than I want, to be honest. I might have to put it on the cover like that. That would be cool, though. Let's just do it. And I'm still going to do it as a belly band. I could put it down here and have it just be a pocket, but I really love the the uh, belly band idea. So we'll just put... So I would need to cut this down a bit, uh, you know, fold it, fold it a little, um, a little smaller. So we might want to cut this. And if we cut this side, that could be the opening for this way. And we wouldn't have to just do the dot there. Yeah, as I think through it, but but the bottom line is it works with a thin digital too. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get to in my roundabout way. Okay, well that's fun. So another piece in there is done. Okay, how are we doing time-wise? Oh, we're doing so good. Okay, so I had one other thing I wanted to show you before we got a little crazy with just mass making a bunch of them and that is so i have this um 12 by 12 piece of paper that is so pretty kaiser craft it's called expressions um and it's two-sided so what i'm thinking with a 12 by 12 that's two-sided is you could make these pockets and um you know, cut this down to six by six and make these pockets sort of opposite each other. You know what I mean? Like, like we did with this one, with the plane and then the pattern. So I'm going to, I'm going to try it with this one. Okay. I think I want this here to be my, um, big pocket. So I'm going to cut that at four and three quarters here like so that's four and three quarters I'm going to cut it six and then I'm going to fold it up Ooh, I don't I may not want the back side of this I mean I'm just saying I don't know or I may want the plane right there what I may want. Now this is six. I wonder how, where does, what does two and a, two and a half leave me? Not a lot. I'm just thinking, what do I want this to look like? And I'm thinking I kind of want it to be the plane, but it could also like be that okay let's just go ten and a half i mean what two and a half <laughs> like i said i'm so grateful that you put it up with me <laughs> oh boy okay so that's six we're gonna chop that butterfly in half how about we go this way and have that yeah i think that's better because that would make a cute tag, too. Okay. Alrighty, then. See, let's see. The pink. Or the Yeah, I like the flowers. This one will just be very, very full of flowers. Um, so... So yeah, anyways, had a lovely night last night. It was just, it was so nice and um, just so great to see everybody. And the, uh, p other people who had left came too. There was a couple of gals that, you know, that I worked 
with when I was there that came back too. And so that was awesome. So, yeah, I'm excited for my friend to get on to her next adventure. It's going to be great. I think it's going to be her passion and she's just going to have a, a great time with it. I'm just feeling really good about it. Okay, so there we go. And then I'll move that over and that will leave a little green there. But, you know, point being on this one is you can use uh, one of your 12 by 12s too. And, the, and just like the 6 by 8, you have a lot left over for tags and stuff. So... So that, that's pretty fun, too, to have, you know, coordinating, I guess is what I'm trying to say, coordinating um, tags and journal card or whatever. Because you could put a journal card in this pocket easily. I used, a, um, I used the index card, but you could use a piece of the paper as a journal card, too. Okay, let's get this on here. Angela, I love these. I think I'm going to be making a lot of these. They'll probably go in every journal. Because <laughs> I just think they're awesome. And so simple. Good thought. Good thought, my friend. Okay, so that's... That's too wide for a journal card, but I really love that piece of paper, so I may just keep that. This could be, it's a little wide, but not too bad. Let's see what we have left here. Um, okay, first thing I'm gonna do is cut this at six, because I think I just like to make the parts and pieces that are gonna go with this. Okay, six, and then probably about, I think three and a half would be more than safe for a tag. So that will be the tag for behind. So much fun. So yeah, I hope you'll go over and look at how pretty, oh, that's fun. Um, I hope you'll go over and check out, let's see, check out Angela's channel, I think. about there and see if that will work. Perfect. Okay, I think I can go right above this butterfly, which that kind of makes me happy not to be chopping the butterfly. Oh yeah, it's, it's longer, but it's kind of fun. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. And then we need a little tag to go in here. And let's see, that is two and a half. So let's make this like a little under two, I think. And how tall do I want it? Hmm. I think I'm going to chop it right there where it has, in the design, it has a line. And then that one's going to go in there. Like that. Okay. And I mean, I can make them into tags and stuff later, but there is another one. Oh my gosh, these are fun. Okay. So far, we have done... One, two, three, four. 
in different ways. Okay, so now let's go back to our um, six by six paper. I was looking at this. This is, I think this is the same one. Yeah, uh, Seven Gypsies Conservatory six by six and it does have it does have stuff on the back too i love this paper i was thinking actually about using these two this is one of those ones where you know because it's a um i'm going four and three quarters here because it is nature you know I feel like there's a lot of different journals you can use it in you know okay so there's that four and three quarters six folded okay this one is gonna be two and a half right and I was thinking and yes it will it's just gonna be perfect I was thinking about this folding up and having that pretty flower right there. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so there we go. So I've also had a lot of you say that um, when it comes to like mass making or something that or making a new item that doing it several times is helpful and then you really kind of get it in your brain. So that's why I thought I'd just mass make a bunch of these because I, I still am in need of pre-made ephemera because I just have been making up so many journal kits for myself. So loving this. This is just really fun, Angela. Really fun. Thank you so much for being so smart and creative. And for letting, letting us know about your channel. I mean, I was already subscribed, but she's letting you guys know <laughs> of her channel. So... Yeah, Angela's a sweetie. She always leaves the nicest comments. And and like I say, she's she's been a patron since I I think since I started on Patreon. So I appreciate that too. Okay, so we'll just give this a little, give it a little space. And pop that on there. And we've got ourselves another one. And, I mean, we can put whatever in the little pockets, but this, you know, what's left from making this pocket makes a perfect tag for behind the belly band, in, in my opinion. Oh, you know what I'm going to do with this one is round the corners, because if I were to, you know, make it a traditional tag shape, I was going to cut off the birdie's head. <laughs> we can't have that. So we'll just make it that kind of a tag. And it can go back there. How fun is this, guys? It's just so fun to see how your, you know, kind of how your papers turn out and stuff. Okay, we've got about 10 minutes. So, um, is there any other paper that is just screaming to me that wants to be used? Let's, I have my stack of, mm, I don't think so, my little stack of, uh, of my, oh, look at that. I love that page. Oh, and I love that. Oh, let's do one of those. <laughs> um, yeah, I love, I love Seven Gypsies. And I have found these paper pads I found at 
Tuesday morning when my daughter lived in Ohio. So that tells you I've had them a while because they haven't lived there for a long time. <laughs> okay, four and three quarters. I definitely want this part. Let's just see how it turns out. Ooh, it's so hard because I love both sides. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, so on this one, we're going to put our pocket here so we can use this side. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go two and a half here. And we are going to fold this up. And the only thing that will be different is the way we glue it because it's on the other side. So that's all. That's all that's different. Okay, let's do this. My hubby's home from Costco. Had a little Costco run today. It's the only day this week, really, that I don't have somewhere to go. So I'm enjoying just being in my craft room today. Um, we leave on Friday for a big tournament weekend with um, volleyball. Three granddaughters playing. My son's daughter and then Addie and Katie. And then my son's daughter, Marin. They're all playing. So it's going to be great. Going to have lots of volleyball and lots of family time. So, so fun. Okay. And so then this same deal, you just do the two, but then we're gonna, gonna flip flop the way we, um, the way we glue it in, which is why it's helpful for me to put my fingers where I'm not gonna glue. So on this one, I'm not gonna glue here. So I'm just gonna go around the other three sides. Okay. Now this one, I don't think I need to leave any space and I really want to see the plant. So <laughs> I'm just going to pop that straight to the edge on that one. Okay, so there's that one. And then um, I think we'll... Do, should we just do this as the tag? Oh, that does look kind of pretty. So this will be the tag. So yeah, we were kind of talking last night about how um, being at the college is where I worked it's like, you know, you're such a part of the community that that's the really hard part when you leave is you're no longer part of that community. But as I was telling them, I found a new community with all of you. And so, so I'm doing just fine that way. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. And you could put it that way too kind of hard to decide. I mean, you could always put some coffee dyed paper on one side or the other. So let's look. Well, that's nice, but I think I do like it better this way. Yeah, that's fine. So let's see. Well, how are we doing? Mm, I think we have time to make one more. Let's make one out of this paper pad. I grabbed this too. It's a little thicker, but I think it might be okay. Let's use that as the background. That's a nice background. Now let's find us a, a fun, ooh, that's pretty. 
Let's make one out of this. <clears throat> so four and three quarters. <laughs> Am I driving you crazy with the repetition yet? <laughs> oh, I think that one needs to be scored. And I think, you know, if you score it, you won't have any trouble if it's, if it's, you know, a little heavier cardstock. Okay. Yeah, that just scored just fine. All right, and then this is two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. And then score that at three, two, just to fold it. Perfection. Well, I highly encourage you to have a mouse making session with these because that was fun. <laughs> so enjoyed it. Yeah, so go over to Angela. Tell her you saw her great po a multi pocket belly band idea and that you've come over to play. <laughs> This is real pretty paper. What is this? The paper studio. So this is Hobby Lobby. Uh, what's it called? Distress Floral. So, yeah. And so here's the deal. You can make one of these in less than five minutes. Because that is kind of what, that's what I did was make a bunch of them. So now I'm going to just go through and put them all on coffee dyed paper. And then those pages will be ready to go into a journal. Because I think I, I know that I want all these as, um, I want all these as belly bands, not pockets. Otherwise, you might want to leave them loose so that you, you know, can use them as you want to. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little space again. Okay. Oh, so cute. And I might make some tags for some of these. Like, well, this can be the tag for behind. But I might grab another coordinating piece of paper and make a couple tags for the little pockets, too. Just have a little finishing up to do with this. But great way to use the one-sided paper. It's so... I'll put this one on a piece of paper right now just to reinforce that a little. Okay, grab a piece of paper out of here. Okay. And then we're just gonna put the glue down the two sides. Pop that on, kind of middle-ish, like that. Make sure it's straight. <laughs> details, details, right? Okay, and put the tag behind. Be fun to make a bunch of these from scraps too, you know, especially like the little tags. Oh my gosh, I love these, you guys. These are awesome. Okay, and here's the one that I made from the vintage tablecloth. Here are my couple of nature ones. 
this one is roses and this one a springy one so in an hour we made one two three four five six seven eight of them and did some of the tags as well so so there you go that's my idea angelia uh, <laughs> angela's crafty space is that right let me let me double check yes angela's crafty space and links will be below so you can go over and say howdy do to her so thanks everybody so much for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.